possible. Ang mga airborne viruses tulad ng COVID-19 ay kumakalat sa pamamagitan ng pagbahing o pag-ubo para maiwasan ang pagkalat ng mga virus na nagdudulot ng ibang ibang sakit takpa ng buong bibig at ilong gamit ang panyo o tesyo o gamitin ang manggas o loob ng siko kung uubo o babahing. Lumayo sa mga tao kung ikaw ay uubo o babahing. Huwag dumura kung saan saan. Lamhang maigi ang gamit sa panyo at ipapon sa basurahan ang mga nagamit sa tesyo. Ugaliin ang wastong pag Pagkugat ng kamay o paggamit ng alkohol o hand sanitizer. Maging maingat, maging ligtas. Isang mahalagang paalala mula sa Department of Health, Philippine Broadcasting Service at Radio Pilipinas. Ituring natin ang Ask Wednesday bilang tagapagpaalala na ang tao ay pinagtaluuban ng lumikha ng pangsamantala at siram ng buhay lamang. Simula ng panahon ng kwaresma, naway ang abong sumisimbolo sa paglalang at pagwawakas ng buhay ay magpaigti ng ating pananalig at pananampalataya sa kabila ng mga hinaharap na suliranin at problemang pangkalusugang pinaranas ng bayan. Nakikaisa ang Philippine Broadcasting Service at Radio Pilipinas sa pagdita ng araw ng Merkulis ng Abo. Pero ang hapon po sa inyong lahat ngayon po ay February 17, 2021, Ash Wednesday po mga kaibigan. Kayo po nakikinig sa Radyo Pilipinas Sports News Roundup dito po sa RP1738 kHz sa Metro Manila at napapakinggan rin po via test broadcast sa 918 kHz Radyo Pilipinas po. Aaron Bayada po ang inyong lingkod. Dito po ang mga stories, sports stories for today. The cancellation of boxing's world qualifiers for the Tokyo Olympics may be beneficial to the Philippines. This was according to ABA President Ricky Vargas who believed Pinoy boxers stand good chances of being named as qualifiers since they are ranked highly among those who have not yet qualified. ABA is hopeful of qualifying two more boxers to the Tokyo Games to join middleweight Ymir Felix Marshall and flyweight Irish Magno who made it in last year's Asia Oceana qualifier. The International Olympic Committee Boxing Task Force announced Monday via a virtual meeting that the world qualifiers for the Tokyo Olympics has been cancelled. ABAP Secretary General Ed Pickson, who attended the online meeting with more than 30 other Asian countries, explained the BEF's decision came because of the time constraints and safety concerns. The tournament was originally scheduled for May 2020 in Paris, which was postponed for March this year because of the pandemic. The BTF is scheduled to make the official announcement of those who will be qualified for Tokyo in March. As of the moment, several boxers are in earnest training under bubble conditions at the Inspire Sports Academy in Kalamba and are slated to leave for Thailand for a joint training camp late this month. Among them are Magno, current featherweight world champion Nesty Petesho, Carlo Paalam, Rogen Ladon, Ian Clark Bautista, Mario Fernandez, Ira Villegas, among others. From boxing puta puta is athletics, the Philippine Athletics Track and Field Association or Patapa is optimistic about its chances of winning a medal of any color in the coming Tokyo Olympic Games, anchored on Paul Walter Ernest John E.J. Obiana. In the PSA online forum aired over RP2, Patapa President Philip Elio Wico expressed confidence on Obiana's bid to end the country's 85-year Olympic medal drought in athletics. Given the performance of the 25-year-old Tondo native in several indoor meets around Europe the past few weeks. Rico is positive about Obiana giving Philippine track and field its first Olympic medal since Miguel White, who clinched the bronze in the men's 400-meter hurdles during the 1936 Berlin Games. So I dream about that. We even dream of it already being July. That EJ is in the runway, voting and winning the gold. Hope speaks eternally. For me, award ceremony, I think we saw already an image of him receiving the gold medal and the Philippine flag going up and people teary-eyed about this. 
Cabos Patapa President Dr. Philip Eliovico, Vena son of National Coach Emerson Ogiena, has and handled by Ukrainian Olympic gold medalist Vitaly Petrov, will see action tonight in the Copernicus Cup in Torun, Poland, and then participate in one more event to close out his indoor campaign. Meantime, E.J. Obiana has good chances of winning his first medal in the World Athletics Indoor Gold Meet early morning Thursday at the Copernicus Cup in Poland. Philippine pole vaults Wonder Boy hold the best record among the top eight-man field, which misses world champion and world record holder Armand Duplantis, who appeared to be injured in the last gold tournament in Libyan France. E.J.'s Philippine national mark of 5.86 meters set five days ago at the Orland Cup in Lodz tied world number two Sam Kendricks' season's best. Obiana and Kendricks lead the start list that also includes 2016 Rio Olympic champion Thiago Braz of Brazil, former world medalist Piotr uh, Piotr Lizek, and Pavel Wokzyszowski of Poland. In a message to RP2, Obiana said he will go all out there and execute as instructed by coach Vitaly Petrov. He is waiting for coach Petrov's decision if they will compete in one more meet before wrapping up the indoor season. Still in athletics, Padafa president Philip Wiko is hopeful of three of qualifying three more backs to the Tokyo Games. Sprinters Eric Ray, Christina Knott, and Paul Volter, Natalie Ui, all national record holders based in the United States, have been focused on joining races to meet the qualifying standard by June. Rio Olympian Trey is trying to qualify in the 400-meter hurdles in races in Texas. Knott, who broke Lidia de Vega's 33-year-old 100-meter record last August with a time of 11.27 seconds, will have a two-month bubble training and competition in Texas where she hopes to meet the 11.15 seconds qualifying mark. We, on the other hand, is recuperating from a wrist injury but remains hopeful of competing soon. The House of Representatives on Tuesday approved in third and final reading House Bills number 8632 and 8631 which seeks to grant Filipino citizenships to Ateneo de Manila University Blue Eagle Center Angelo Cuame and United City FC striker Bienvenido Marañon, respectively. The Senate must now approve the pending counterpart bills before the two activists' naturalization bills are submitted to the office of the President. Kwame, a 6 foot 10 Ivorian center, is a two time UAAP champion, is included in the Philippine men's national basketball pool. Marañon, on the other hand, is a four time Philippines football league champion. The Spanish football player is also the all time leading scorer in the AFC Cup. The PBA has approved a trade involving Calvin Noveba of the Phoenix Pulse Fuel Ma- of Phoenix Super LPG Fuel Masters and Magnolia Hotshots from Bansang Manok. Phoenix has shipped the beast to Magnolia for Chris Banchero. Magnolia's first round, uh, which is the sixth overall pick, and the second round, or the 18th overall pick, in the March 14th draft. The Hotshots also received the Fuel Masters first round pick, which is 10th overall, along with Abueva. We go to tennis, the Filipino duo Francis Casey Alcantara and Ruben Gonzalez failed in their bid in the ASC BMW Men's World Tennis Tours in Naples, Florida. The country's top double specialist bowed to the third seed tandem of Alejandro Gonzalez of Colombia and American Israel Alexander Ore, 4-6, or rather 6-4, 1-6, in the first round of the men's doubles event. Nevertheless, Alcantara and Gonzalez have the chance to recover as they compete in the same outdoor clay course of Naples for another 25,000 grand. ITF event from February 22 to 28. Alcantara, a former Australian Open Juniors doubles champion, and Gonzalez currently ranked 236 in the doubles world rankings, last teamed up in the Davis Cup. World Group 2 encounter between the Philippines and Greece, then bagged by world number 6, Stepano Tsitsipas, in March of 2020. More sports news, PSC asked IATF to revert its sporting facilities to bubble training sites. The details from Peter Paul Patrick Lewis. Philippine Sports Commissioner, PSC Commissioner Ramon Fernandez met with National Action Plan against COVID-19 Chief Implementer Vince Dijon and R.A. Perez of New Clark City or NCC yesterday in Clark City, Pampanga. Commissioner Fernandez followed up the letter of PSC Chairman William Butch Ramirez requesting IATF to turn over the Rizal Memorial Coliseum, Nino Aquino Stadium, Phil Sports Arena, and PSC Teachers Training Camp in Baguio back to the PSC for its bubble training of athletes in April. The PSC sports facilities in Manila, Pasig, and Baguio have been utilized as COVID facilities since March last year and are now intended to be used as COVID testing facilities. Fernandez, who was named as the Philippine Delegation Chef de Mission 
to the Vietnam Sea Games bare plans of starting bubble training at the PSC Sports Facilities by April 15 of athletes in the 38 sports competing in the Vietnam Biennial Games in November. Fernandez is confident of a positive response from the IATF as there are several other facilities that can be used as COVID testing facilities. More than 250 medalists in the 2019 SEA Games plus more than 50 more other gold medal hopefuls may comprise a national delegation to the Vietnam SEA Games. Fernandez also said that entry forms by number of countries participating in the 31st Biennial Games will be submitted to the Vietnam Sea Games Organizing Committee on March 23. Fernandez also discussed with Perez, who is the mayor of NCC Artist Village, and Dizon, who is also the BCDA chairman, the use of New Clark City facilities for bubble training of athletics, swimming, triathlon, and possibly diving. For Radio Filipinas Dos, this is Peter Paul Patrick Lucas supporting. Thank you very much, Peter Paul. We go to Archery Mahi The Philippine national team led by Olympic hopefuls displayed impressive showing in the final leg of the World Archery Indoor Series online competition held last week. The curb specialists Riley Silos, Jason Emmanuel Feliciano, Pia Bidaure, and KB Amistoso boosted their Tokyo qualifying bids by placing in the top 50 of the world event. United States based Silos or Silos finished 23rd with 588 points. Pangasinan Pride Feliciano landed in 43rd with 582 points in the men's side, while the Maguete Bets Bidaure and Amistoso placed 35th and 42nd with 568 and 566 points respectively in the women's division. The scores, which are higher than the standard 574 men and 554 women set by World Archery Philippines, mean that the archers are on the right track for the June Olympic qualifiers in Paris. In compound event, veteran Jennifer Chan emerged as the best performer, 2013 women's compound, with 578 points, just one point ahead of former world indoor champion Andrea Robles, who scored 577 and placed 33rd. Southeast Asian Games gold medalist Paul Morton de la Cruz settled for 39th in the men's category with 585 points. Meanwhile, Davao City's Shirley Ligue showed a strong promise when she finished third with 542 points behind Sweden's Lina Bjongkund and Fatme Gasmefour, or Gasmefour rather, of Iran who had 553 and 551. Some 191 Filipino archers from 25 clubs competed in the two-day remote indoor world event, which WAP Secretary General Don Sombrio said a success in terms of testing the readiness of the archers while face-to-face -face competitions are still on hold due to the pandemic. Sa volleyball naman po, the Games and Amusements Board has approved three training venues for teams in the upcoming Premier Volleyball League season. PBL President Ricky Palu said that league officials together with GAB Chair Abraham Bahamitra inspected the Ronak Gym in Shaw Boulevard and the Green Hills West Gym and Phil Oil Flying B Center in San Juan. The Ronak Gym is proposed to host Dreamline, Choco Muko, Mucho, and Perlas while the Green Hills West Gym is targeted for peak form. The Phil Oil Flying B Center will have Petro Gaz which offered the arena to other teams searching for a place to practice. PBL officials will meet with representatives from Signal, PLDT, and Bali Pure on Thursday. Teams must get permission from local government units before GAB verifies it for them to start preparing for the season set to kick off in the second quarter of 2021. The sixth Beach Volleyball Challenge Cup of the Philippine Super Liga will feature eight teams according to PSL Chair Philippe Eloico. Santa Lucia, United Auctioners Incorporated, and Avance Negrense will have two teams each. F2 Logistics will field one squad while Toby Sports will make its debut. The tournament is set to be held at the Subic Tennis Center from February 26 to 28. Dr. Rico said they have already scheduled secure clearance from the Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority. Get information from the Department of Health is the next step. Rico added that the airing of PSL games on GMA 7 will start with this event. And for our last local item, Salarangan Pono Motorsports, the Interagency Task Force has denied the request of the Automobile Association of the Philippines to resume four-wheel motorsports activity. In a report by Time Attack Manila, the Philippine Sports Commission, Department of Health, Games and Amusement Board Joint Administrative Order penned to the AAP that non-professional sporting events, competitions, tournaments are temporarily suspended regardless of this severity. The AAP and Filipino motorsports enthusiasts are currently active on virtual races as a substitute for the cancelled Grand Prix and events due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Up to the evil of the sports belly, Kingdika Mahuhuyu, and Kingdika Matatalo. Sports, root to the sports, round to the 
Radio Pilipinas 918 AM. So goes our local sports news. Punta naman po tayo sa foreign sports development starting with the Australian Open. The second day of the quarterfinal action of the Aussie Open in Melbourne saw the downfall of women's top seed as world number one Ashley Barkey bowed to 25th seed Carolina Muchova of the Czech Republic 6-1-3-6-2-6. Muchova fought struggled with dizziness in the Melbourne Park heat but refocused after a medical timeout to reach her maiden drum slam semis. Muchova eyed a finals berth against Jennifer Brady who reached her second Grand Slam semis by overcoming her good friend and fellow American Jessica Pegula for 6-6-2 and 6-1. Meantime, ito po yung remaining schedule today sa Australian Open World No. 2. Rafa Nadal plays a well-rested World No. 5 Japan of City Pass for a place in the semifinals tonight. City Pass benefited from a fourth-round walkover when 9th seed Matteo Berrettini of Italy withdrew due to an abdominal strain. Still, Nadal will come in as the favorite having claimed 6 of her... Of his seven ATP head-to-head -head meetings, including a straight-set victory at the 2019 Australian Open semi-finals. Another interesting last eight puzzle is between Russian ATP Cup teammates and fourth seed Daniel Medvedev and seventh seed Andrei Rublev. Medvedev has won all their three meetings on the ATP Tour, including in the three quarters of last year's United States Open. Liga po sa mga resulta kahapon, defending champion Novak Djokovic survived another major test as he reaches ninth semi-final to the Australian Open. The 33-year-old world number one Djokovic showed more mental and physical resilience to overcome 23-year-old and 6-seed Alexander Zverev of Germany, 6-7, 6-2, 6-4, 7-6. The second straight back-to-back -back four-set match since suffering an abdominal injury Friday. Momentum swung between Djokovic and Zverev as they split a scrappy opening two sets with the fluctuations continuing as the level increased in the third and fourth. After smashing his racket in the third set to ventilate frustrations, Djokovic saved 9 of 12 breakpoints, including a set point at 5 and 6 in the fourth set with an ace, 36 ATP head-to-head -head victory in 8 matches against Zverev. Eight-time Australian Open champion will next face Grand Slam debutant world number 114 Aslan Karatsev of Russia, who beat an injured Grigor Dimitrov 2-6, 6-4, 6-1, and 6-2. Karatsev became the first player in the Open era or since 1968, to the semi-finals in his maiden major championship appearance. Another action, Serena Williams came to a huge test of her Australian Open title credentials to reach the last four at Melbourne Park for the ninth time with a 6-3, 6-3 win over Simona Halep. The 39-year-old went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Romanian second seed over 80 minutes on Rod Laver Arena before she was finally able to move within two victories of a record equaling 24th Grand Slam title. Williams is set up a, sets up a semi-final meeting against informed Japanese third seed Naomi Osaka, who overpowered Chinese Taipei's Su Wei Chie 6-2, 6-2 in another quarter-final match. This will be Williams' and Osaka's fourth career matchup, all on hard courts, and the latter leads 2-1, to one, the most memorable encounter, of course, coming in the final of the 2018 U.S. Open. In the NBA, Fred Van Vliet scored 33 points, Pascal Siakam added 23, and the Toronto Raptors withstood the loss of Kyle Lowry to beat the slumping Milwaukee Bucks, 124-113. Lowry exited with a sore left ankle in the third quarter, but had 18 points, 6 rebounds, and 6 assists in 22 minutes. The ankle problem caused Lowry to go to the locker room late in the first half, so he returned to start the third quarter. Milwaukee lost his fourth straight despite getting 34 points, 10 rebounds, 8 assists, and 5 steals from Giannis Antetokounmpo. Another NBA results. LeBron James had 30 points, 13 rebounds, and 7 assists, and Dennis Schroeder scored 24 points, helping the Los Angeles Lakers pull away from the Minnesota Timberwolves for a 112-104 win. Dylan Brown scored 27 points, Jason Tatum had 21 points and 8 assists, and the Boston Celtics overcame Nikola Jokic's 43-point night to beat the Denver Nuggets 112-99. Damian Lillard tallied 31 points and then assists to power the Portland Trailblazers to a 115-104 victory over the Oklahoma City Thunder. Again, Portland getting that victory. Zion Williamson had 31 points as Josh Hart added 27 markers to lead the New Orleans Pelicans to a 144 that's 144 to 113 route of the Memphis Grizzlies. And finally, James Harden exploded for 38 points as the Brooklyn Nets pulled off a come from behind 128 to 124 win over the Phoenix Suns. Top on basketball pa rin po following the COVID-19 protocol for FIBA official national team and club competitions. 
And upon the advice of its medical commission, FIBA has decided to postpone the games of Jordan in the upcoming FIBA Asia Cup 2021 qualifiers in Manama, Bahrain. The decision was taken after 10 members of the Jordan delegation, including seven players, tested positive to COVID-19 after arriving to Manama, despite all delegation members having provided two negative tests prior to their arrival in Bahrain. Jordan's games in Group F versus Palestine in Feb 18, Sri Lanka on February 19, Kazakhstan in February 21, and Palestine again on, 20, on the 22nd will not take place. The status of those games will be decided at the later stage. Finally on football, Liverpool FC and Paris Saint-Germain took opening victories in the opening leg of the 2021 UEFA Champions League Round of 16. Liverpool dispatched RB Leipzig 2-0, courtesy of Mo Salah and Sadio Mane at Puskas Arena in Budapest. PSG overcame Lionel Messi's breakthrough to crown FC Barcelona 4-1 with Kylian Mbappe tallying a hat-trick and Moise Keane adding one for the reigning Ligue 1 champions. Tomorrow at 4 a.m. Philippine time, Sevilla, F or rather Sevilla FC will take on Borussia Dortmund at the Ramon Sanchez Piz One Stadium in Seville. And FC Porto battles Juventus FC at the Dragon Stadium in Porto, Portugal. Finally, here's a glimpse of the Golden Pass in sports history. 21 years ago, mga kaibigan, on this day, February 17, 2000, the Philippine fencing team took home eight gold medals in the Southeast Asia. Fencing Federation Championships held in Surabaya, Indonesia. The team kept the prestigious Bidarsa Cup given to the most dominant country in the region. This was the team's third consecutive win at the time in that said event. And so goes your Radio Filipinas Do Sports News Roundup as compiled and edited by the men and women of your Philippine Broadcasting Service. Susunod na po ang agenda ng bayan. Maraming salamat po sa inyong kaikinig. Ako po si Aaron Bayato. Have a pleasant afternoon ahead. Philippine Standard Time, 2.51. Detalye ng mga naganap na sports matchup. Sino ang nanguna? Sino ang mas sanayi ating alamin? Dito sa Sports Roundup. Radio Pilipinas Store, 918 AM. Standard Time, 32 minutes after 3 p.m. This is your test broadcast of Radio Filipinas DOS 918 kilohertz now Philippine Broadcasting Service. I hope I'm being heard. All right, this is a test broadcast. Uh, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Mula dito sa Bitaan sa Avenue QC. Ako po si Iren Bayato of RP2. And uh, we'll be, uh, please join me until the 45th minute. Of this hour, 3 p.m. for just some uh, sports updates. Uh, this is uh, Radio Filipinas, so from the uh, Institution of Philippine Sports Broadcast. We're live from the fourth floor of your media center building. Tapang po sa airwaves through 918 uh, kHz, hopefully, as uh, our men and women sa uh, I aming mean, uh, technical side and also our friends from the Malolos Transmitter working hand in hand po to improve and uh, have a successful uh, broadcast at maging maayos po ang um, pagsasahin pa po with para po makapaglingkod po sa inyo mga kababayan sa ating mga uh, Filipino sports fans na kung ano namang sinusunda mga sports development ano uh, for example we understand that uh, we've been uh, away for a while you know for a while for, for a long time uh, because uh, we've been uh, helping our colleagues at Radio Filipinas Uno para po sa pag uh, ating special coverage sa uh, coronavirus fan Okay, starting with our one of the leagues na sinusunda natin sa NBA. I-discuss natin mga paborito ng NBA team. Sino ang top? Sino? Ipulela. Top NBA. Top NBA. Okay, 
At mga kaibigan sa ating uh, Talk NBA uh, segment, uh, lamang po natin ang mga nanalong basketball team sa NBA for today, February 17, 5-16 sa Amerika. Nagwagi po ang uh, Toronto Raptors over the Milwaukee Bucks, 124-113 sa pangunan ni Fred Van Vliet, who scored the 33 points, 7 assists, and 4 rebounds also to Field. So, nagdagdag din ng puntos, etong si Pascal Siakam with 23, Kyle Lowry na nagkaroon ng injury. Uh, I think, uh, ano ba itong injury niya? But he had an injury, para nakabalik na rin, sa, nakabalik din naman sa Sarah during that uh, third quarter. Uh, he had 18.6 rebounds and 6 assists. Okay. Sa panagaman ng Mula Wakubak, he had 34 points from Janice Antetokounmpo, 10 rebounds, um, 8 assists, 5 steals, and 2 Black shot. But that's enough for Milwaukee to win. Medyo nagkakaroon sila ng slump recently. They're now 16 and 12 in the standings. Ang New Orleans, rather ka, ang New Orleans Pelicans winning over the Memphis Grizzlies 144 to 113. Uh, with uh, Zion Williamson scoring 31 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists. Uh, matchup nila ni John Morant. John Morant had a good game, 28 points. 8 assists and 7 rebounds. And then, uh, mga kaibigan, aside from that, uh, nagbagi ang Boston Celtics over the Denver Nuggets. 112 to 99 sa pangunan ni Jalen Brown with 27 points, 5 rebounds and 5 assists. Also, ang nga lang, 7 turnovers. Jason Tatum with 21 points and 6 rebounds and 8. As is their overgame, the great performance of Tony Nicola Jokic with 43 points, 6 rebounds, and 5 assists, plus 2 steals for Nicola Jokic. Again, final score of that game, 112-99, to Boston winning over Denver. The Lakers were involved in a very close game until eventually they won over the Minnesota Timberwolves, 112-104. LeBron James with 30 points, 13 rebounds, 7 assists, uh, but he committed 5 turnovers. 24 points from Dennis Schroeder, 11 points from Mark Gasol, they missed the services of Anthony Davis uh, due to an Achilles injury, pero not that serious, at tamukha mga wala siya lang siya for uh, a week. And, uh, he will uh, get well soon. Anthony Edwards of the number one overall pick ng uh, draft natin today, or uh, this year, rather last year, um, tama, tama, this year. Okay, Anthony Edwards, 28 points, 7 rebounds, uh, 5 Assist? I did, last year, tama. Ako, nagkali ko na. Yeah, but the ring number one overall pick by uh, Anthony Edwards, 28.7 rebounds and 5 assists and 2 blocks for Anthony Towns with 15.6 rebounds and 4 assists. The Brooklyn Nets uh, came back from a 24-point deficit uh, to defeat the Phoenix Suns, 128 to 124. James Harden, 38 points, 11 assists and 7 Rebounds, si Chris Paul naman, 29 points, 7 assists at 4 uh, rebounds para dito sa Phoenix Suns. Looking at the standings natin dito sa NBA after today's uh, ball games. Manguna pa rin ang Philadelphia 76ers sa Eastern Conference at humahabal na itong Brooklyn. Uh, they kind of tied with the uh, wins. But Philadelphia only has 10 losses. Uh, Philadelphia, Brooklyn, Milwaukee, Boston, Indiana, New York. Toronto and Charlotte in top 8 and then of course within the play-in itong uh, Chicago Bulls and the Miami Heat and uh, so uh, what's the one more thing from you? Utah Jazz, wow looking good, 8 straight win recently, uh, 23 and 5 followed by the Lakers, then the Clippers Portland, Phoenix, San Antonio, Denver and Golden State uh, down the order, 9 to 10, itong uh, Memphis uh, Grizzlies at ang, uh, what do call this, Dallas Mavericks. So, yun ang ating uh, standings for NBA Basketball. Uh, for tomorrow, ang habang natin mga laro, mga kaibigan, sa larangan ng NBA, uh, that's uh, coming uh, tomorrow. Uh, New York uh, versus Orlando, as soon as kung hindi pa makakancel po yung mga games, uh, subject to change, of course. Houston Rockets against the Philadelphia 76ers, the Atlanta Hawks against the Boston Celtics, the Detroit Pistons against the Chicago Bulls, uh, Indiana versus Minnesota, Nuggets versus uh, Wizards, Thunder versus Grizzlies, Four Blazers versus Pelicans, Jazz versus Clippers, and the Heat against the Warriors. Alright, 
from NBA, punta naman po tayo sa football. From here and abroad, complete updates on our matchups at team standards, features and reports about your favorite ball clubs and idol players. Football Connection, anything and everything football. Football Connection, dito sa Hajo Pilipinas Store, 918 AM. Football Connection sa Radio Pilipinas 2918 uh, kilohertz sa uh, UEFA Champions League nagwagi ang Liverpool FC against RB Leipzig 2-0 with uh, Mohamed Salah and Sadio Mane uh, providing the score in the 53rd and 58th minute respectively. So nakuha ng Liverpool ang leg one ng pagsimula ng round of 16 ng UEFA Champions League. Sa kabilang game naman over at uh, Camp Nou, ang FC Barcelona losing over Paris Saint-Germain 4-2-1 ang league on champs with uh, stellar performance from Kylian Mbappe 32 uh, in the 32nd minute in the 65th and the 85th for the hat-trick and then Moise Keen with uh, goal in the 70th. It was 1-0 during the 27th after Lionel Messi scored uh, via a penalty in the 27th minute for the barrage na nangyari for Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, in the, well, it was tied after halftime and then two goals uh, coming from Kylian and Moise and then eventually Kylian sitting the deal. So, we're going to talk for Football Connection. Football Connection! Football Connection! Your radio guide to all things football. So, we're going to talk about Filipinas Sports, 918 AM. Reviews and previews in the world of motor racing. From the bottom, beyond the track, with the data updated results. But the ending some other happenings, and what about some odd drivers in and outside the race? Motorsports Power, 3 p.m. 2 to 3 p.m. Dito sa Radio Pilipinas Sports, 9 on 8 a.m. Hey mga kaibigan, sa Motorsports para kang raising updates, of course, di pa po pinayagan ng ating inter-agency task force na makapag-host ng mga Uh, sporting events ang Automobile Association of the Philippines ang uh, NSA ng Pilipinas pagdating sa four-wheel motor racing dahil nga po according to the uh, Games and Amusement Board sa Department of Health at ang Philippine Sports Commission professional lang po ang pinapayagan kahit ang hindi po risking motorsports actually it's actually safe pero it's classified as a non-professional uh, activity so hindi pa po pinapayagan so hopefully makagawa ng para ng AAP in the meantime they will just have to simply follow the orders of the national government in order to prevent the uh, further impact spread of uh, coronavirus was still in the pandemic. Uh, overseas, uh, nag-launch na po, unti-unti nang uh, pinapakita ng mga F1 teams yung kanila mga kote na una ang McLaren and uh, Daniel Ricciardo has completed his first class for McLaren in some private event uh, with its 2021 Formula 1. So, so they unveiled it last Monday, itong kote nila. They were able to drive it. Uh, first, Daniel Ricciardo will team up with his good buddy Lando Norris. And then Red Bull has secured engine technology ahead of Honda's departure. They will still be using 2025. We got 2025. We're going to Honda engine in the natural that we're going to have their own uh, engine technology. Uh, the same with uh, Alpha Tauri. Okay? So, yan po ang latest uh, malarangan ng motorsports. Balik ulit tayo sa local for final uh, item ang uh, Pagkaroon po ng uh, trade. May trade. O, oh, may trade. Sa PBA, itong si Calvin na Buena. O, Buena. Buena. Uh, sorry. Uh, Salot kay EJ of Vienna. Pagpatuloy mo lang ang uh, napakahusay mong performance and uh, hopefully he can be one of the potential athletes who can give us a medal. Okay? So, uh, Magwaya Hotshots from Bansang Manok will be acquiring a top player In Calvin Aweba of the Phoenix uh, Super LPG Fuel Masters, kapalit ng isang top player din. And uh, Chris Banchero. Uh, Coach Banchero. Uh, so, ang kapalit, uh, Fuel Masters have acquired the first round pick at second round pick. At 6 overall and 18th pick overall for the March 14 draft. Ang kapalit naman, Magnolia will receive the 10th overall pick ng Phoenix. So, yun po. Approved na po ng PBA yung trade na yan. So, Uh, Calvin will be playing his third team in the PBA after Alaska and then of course a third and three and then Chris Banchara will be playing for the Magnolia Hot Shots from Bansang. At yan po ang naging uh, kabuhan ng 
first broadcast, although you can still tune in to us for more music and your favorite stuff. Patuloy po ang aming uh, pagsubisyo at uh, pag-working uh, things out so that we can go back on regular programming. And thank you very much sa ato ng ating mga listeners sa uh, pat, uh, patuloy po na pag, uh, pagtangkilik sa sports radio, sa Radio Pilipinas Plus, at sa sports, siyempre, the one and only sports connection. Uh, guys, please take care po. Eventually, we're gonna survive this pandemic. We're gonna thrive against this pandemic and we're going to outlive this uh, coronavirus pandemic. Philippine Standard Time, 345, I'm Aaron Barato. Tingit po kayo, have a pleasant afternoon ahead and uh, have a memorable uh, Ash Wednesday. Take care.